any decent company before sending their product off, before they actually make a bunch of products on an assembly line, make sure that the design of the product actually works. They make sure the product is actually functional. And in the same way as songwriters, even though we shouldn't just be making products, obviously, because we should be making something that has a deeper creative meaning, we still can learn from that. And we can also run our songs through tests to make sure that they are of a high quality before sending them out. Let's talk about it. And one of those tests that I really like running my melodies through is what I like to call either the candle test or the acapella test. And the main idea behind this is that you should be able to sing your melody with no instrumentation, no help whatsoever. And that melody should be able to really carry the emotion of the song. You can sing your melody and picture that you could get a crowd to actually get their candles out, or I guess their cell phones out these days, and sort of sing along with you and really feel the song, even though you're just singing it a cappella, you are singing it with no instrumentation whatsoever. If you just grab the mic and all the lights go down and you just sing the melody, Melody. You can picture them singing that melody along with you, feeling every single word while they are waving their cell phones or candles back and forth. And sure, this may sound a little overblown, but the idea is it should seem feasible to you that people would actually do this with the melody. If the melody doesn't really have that feeling, if it's just kind of meh, then maybe it isn't quite nailing the emotion as much as it should be. Your melody and your lyrics alone, all by themselves, should really evoke the emotion of the song, and then your entire arrangement should just add to that, instead of compensating for where your melody may lack. So before you put the stamp of approval on your songs and consider them finished, be sure to run them through this candle test or acapella test to make sure that you really feel like the melody alone really evokes the emotion of the song in a way that the rest of the instrumentation really just adds to the song rather than being necessary for the song to actually evoke the emotions that the song is intended to evoke. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to check out my free guide on 10 different ways to start writing a song. It gives you 10 different ways to start writing a song if you're stuck or if you're somebody who writes songs in the same way every time. Sometimes if you write songs in the same way, your songs start to sound the same. If you always grab a guitar and do a chord progression to start a song, eventually you might find yourself thinking, ah, why does this song feel kind of like my other songs? It's probably because you started the song in the same place. And so instead, it's better to start songs from different places in order to really stay inspired and not start to sound the same. And in this guide, I have five ways from a lyrical standpoint and five ways from a musical standpoint to start a song. So whether you're a lyrics first person or a music first person, there'll be five ways for you. And hey, if you are one of those people and you religiously do either lyrics first or music first, be sure to try the other one because that can be a great way to mix it up. So I recommend trying both of those, lyrics first and music first. But check out that free guide. Link in the description. It's at songwritertheory.com slash free guide. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll talk to you in the next one. <laughs>